Hello photographers, direct support for these videos comes from sales of my video courses or the use of my affiliate links, all of which can be found down in the description. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your Canon R6 in bulb mode. Bulb mode is the mode that allows you to take a photograph for as long as you choose. Most cameras are limited to a longest shutter speed of 30 seconds. Some double that to 60 seconds. And on most cameras, you engage bulb mode by setting your shutter speed to the bulb mode setting from manual mode. But Canon does things a little bit differently. Canon has a dedicated bulb mode on the mode dial for the R6. So if you flip the mode dial to the B, you'll see that where the shutter speed is indicated on the display, we now have the word bulb. We still have control over our ISO and our aperture, but now the shutter speed is dictated by how long you hold that shutter button down. Now you'll notice that I currently have auto ISO engaged, and for bulb mode, you should absolutely turn the auto ISO so off. So I'm going to spin this dial right here, which is the dial that controls your ISO, and I'm going to set my ISO to 100. What you would set your ISO to will vary depending on the shooting situation that you're in. Generally speaking, with bulb mode, you can leave it at ISO 100 because your long exposure is what you're using to capture the light you need for your photo. But there are situations where you may want to increase your ISO. And what you would set your aperture to is also dependent upon the situation you're shooting in. So I can't tell you what you should choose, but if you just want to let in as much light as possible, you would set your aperture to the lowest aperture number for the lens you are using. On this particular lens, at this particular focal length, it's f4, but your smallest aperture setting will vary depending upon what lens you're using. So with bulb mode engaged, you're ready to take your photos, but there's a few other things that you should consider before you just throw it into bulb mode and start taking photos. And the first is using a remote. Now, when you're taking a long bulb exposure, you're more than likely putting the camera on a tripod and you want to minimize any camera movement so that you don't have blur in your images. And one of the things that can cause blur is pressing your shutter button. Even on a tripod, the press of the shutter button can be enough to move the camera and cause a bit of blur at the very beginning of your exposure. So using a remote like this is a great way to avoid that kind of blur. Now the other issue is how long are you going to take the exposure? Because with bulb, the photo is for as long as you press the shutter button down. And Often, that's also where a remote like this comes in, because if you look at the remote, there's a little lock switch that allows you to press that shutter button and then slide the lock up in order to keep the shutter button pressed down, which means you could press that, lock it in place, and then walk away from the camera and let the photograph go for as long as you need it to go. And that is definitely one way of doing it. But there's another way of doing it. And this is actually a really nice option that Canon offers, which is here in the menu. We're going to use the Q button on the back of the camera to navigate through these menus back to the camera menu. And we're going to navigate to page six by using this little joystick on the back here. And on page six, you have a bulb timer. And the bulb timer is an internal timer on the camera that allows you to tell it how long you want the exposure to be for. So if you go in here, you can enable the bulb time, and then if you press the info button on the back of the camera, it allows you to set the time. So this is hours, minutes, and seconds. And you can set it for as long as you want. As long as your camera has power, it will continue to take that photograph based on the time you set here. Now, there's one other setting that you should change while you're here in the menu. I'm going to press the menu button to exit out of this and we're going to go back to camera menu page four. And the very first option here is long exposure noise reduction. And by default, this is turned off. I would recommend turning this on because this will let the camera do the noise reduction work for you, which will improve the quality of your image. Now, if you have this enabled, don't be alarmed when you take a long exposure photo. And then after that exposure is ended, the camera doesn't do anything for the same period of time. Because what the camera does for the noise reduction is take what's called a dark frame for the same period of time. And that's a reference that the camera uses to apply the noise reduction to the image. Now, if you're doing a very long exposure, like minutes or hours, then it may be better to disable this function because if you take a two hour exposure, 
and then the camera takes a two hour dark frame, that's four hours of exposure time total because you gotta let the camera sit and process that dark frame as well. So bear that in mind when considering this function and perhaps turn it off if you're doing a longer exposure. So that's how you use the Canon R6 in bulb mode. If you have any questions about this, let me know down in the comments. If you wanna do that YouTube bullshit to help me out, like, subscribe, that would be great, but make sure you take some damn photos.